bunions? Saddle sores? Helmet hair? Introducing Rattlesnake J's Miracle Snake Elixir. Cures, treats, and eliminates every ailment a mountain biker might face. It's non-toxic, non-allergenic, and non-available in stores. Just look at the list of these things it can take care of. It's gonna take care of these things over here. My exclusive diet pillar in the formula will get you back on trail no matter what. Bunions? Gone! Saddle sores? Those? Gone! Helmet hair more? All gone! We asked some random mountain bike aficionados just how much they would pay for a miracle elixir that's this miraculous. $25? $35? Ha! <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> if you're at right now, you can get Rattlesnake's J's Magic Elixir for just four easy payments of $49.99. That's the cheapest mountain bike accessory, I mean necessity, you'll buy all year. So go ahead and call now and tell them Rattlesnake J sent ya. it will be chlorophyll's world. Join us, won't you? Wayne's world, Wayne's world, party on, excellent. Don't you mean Phil's world? Oh, wait, Phil's world. Phil's World, party on, ride your bike.
probably find out the hard way It's not all what it seems Come back in from the cold You're playing the game but you're losing your soul You're moving too fast, now you're out of control You don't need to glitter, you're already gold Come back in from the cold You're living the life but you're playing a role Les Pew, part two. It's a happy world, this Phil's world. It's a happy world. I don't think he looks anything like me. Anyway, even though the writing in Phil's world was excellent, the leaf peeping kind of tanked. Hopefully, we can branch out into the mountains and see some real colors. Join us, won't you? Day two in Durango. We're heading up towards the uh, Colorado Trail. And after a very disappointing night of sleep in a pretty lame hotel, <sighs> we're hoping it's going to go well. Don't talk about the bad stuff. Don't talk about the bad stuff. Oh. This is the trip of a lifetime. It's dreamy, and look where we are. It'll all be fine. As soon as the endorphins start kicking in. See, Miss Positive Attitude over here. The one who slept the worst last night is the one who's most positive. <laughs> Hooray! It's the chocolate chip muffin talking.
up about another four miles. We're at 9,077 feet. Now it's time to go back down. Whoa, amber is the color of your energy. Just ridiculously pretty today. Oh my gosh. Happy. That was so fun. Now I need, I need food. I need calories. I need protein. I need some carbs. Like a gin. I need to re up. So fun. Good golly, Miss Molly. Steph needs meds. Bad back. Trooper once again. Trooper of the day award. Miss Stephanie Long. Do do do. Trooper of the day. Always trooper of the day. Yes, we could all use some sustenance after that flood of peeping. Deciduous see those colors? Reds, yellows, even umber. Next, our riders will head to the high country where we expect to see some peep-worthy views of the mountainsides. Join us, won't you? said we have to try out the, the high country. He said there's hike a bike pushing involved. And we're starting over, over 10,000 feet. It's gonna be fun. <laughs>
here we are. I mean, it's beautiful. We're at 10.8. That's it? And I think we've been pushing most of that. We have to get to 11.5. Oh, that piece of cake. Don't, <laughs> don't you worry about it, it'll be fine. Pretty though. Of course, there was pretty down low too. <laughs> A moose, that's something, but they're not really known for their colors. If you're Aspen me, it's time to leave that moose alone and get back to the colorful splendor. Oak Edoki? Alright, day three ride in the books. Good lord. <laughs> that was a toughie. That was a toughie. I mean, nothing lower than 10,000 feet. And we're well over 11, and we hiked a lot. We pushed. But the, the cool thing is, 
We've ridden three days in a row, which I hardly ever do. And we're probably gonna ride four days in a row and we'll, we'll be up for it. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was an adventure and it was tough and it was beautiful. Very I mean, there's beautiful. nothing else that had that going for it, like hugely beautiful. And we saw the moose. We saw a moose. Didn't get it on film, unfortunately, but we did see a moose. Super awesome. And uh, we'll leave you with a little more prettiness before we end this day's ride. some time amongst the trees. Join us, won't you? Four in a row. Lots of riding this weekend, but it's Durango-y, so we gots to do it.
amazing. Well, that brings another edition of Leaf Peepers to a close. I hope you had your chlorophyll of beautiful colors in Colorado. I know I'll be spending a lot of time there. We'll be back next autumn with more from Leaf Peepers. I hope you'll join us then. She might be faking that smile. We're hoping to send it at some point today. <laughs> send it straight to the sandwich shop. <laughs> the Rango! Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. shyster selling snake oil. So, has anybody rattled off a list of ailments that a elixir can so-called cure? Ah, this freeway's so loud! You need an attorney who will get you what you deserve. Are your saddle sores inflamed? Is your helmet hair unmanageable? Are your bunions ruining your shoes? <laughs> God, did you even read the fine print? The small print on this thing is so small, it's even hard to pay attention. But you didn't pay attention, did you? You know, every day, people jaywalk right into these traps. Call 1-800-BILLS-ARE-DUE, and I'll get you what you deserve.